Hello, and welcome to Felina Says. Today we will be doing a do-it-yourself craft, making a purse. Shaped like a cream-filled cookie. Isn't it cute? We're making this out of felt, so you need white for the cream, brown for the cookie, a zipper, and ribbon for the handle, and a little decorative bow, needle and thread, scissors of course, and a pattern or template. I had to make the pattern myself, so what I did is get an 8x10 piece of paper and trace this squiggly line around it. Like so. It's pretty easy. Except, of course, when you're holding the camera with one hand, then it's not so easy. <laughs> I need a crew. That's what I need. Anyone want to be a cameraman for me? Oops. Anyway, there's the pattern. Then you just cut along the line. After you're done cutting the pattern out, pin it to the felt. You will need to make two of these, by the way, the front and the back. And there you have the pieces cut out for your cookie purse. Now, this is the tricky part, doing the cream. I don't actually have a pattern for this, so all I did was eyeball it. I make the bottom slightly smaller than the actual cookie pattern, like so. There you go. So see how it is smaller? Like that. And then, of course, I make the bottom as thick as I want. Let's get that out of the way. And that looks pretty thick. The sides are done the same way. This is the bottom, by the way. And I just used the bottom as to add in my how I should do the sides. Sides should be as thick as the bottom, by the way. And that's how it should look when you put the Put piece of the pattern together. Oops. Oops. Oh no, the walls are falling down. They just won't stay up. Oh well, just like when you make a gingerbread house, they just don't want to stay up. Boop. Except for this one. The top should be the same size as the bottom. As I cut it out with one hand, which is probably not why. So I'm just going to stop this for the moment. Okay, it's going to be like that. Pretty much. So I don't really have a good pattern for the sides, but like I said, eyeballing it's pretty good. And then if you run out, like if it becomes a little bit too big or too small, you just cut a little bit off and it should be alright. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now you sew the cream sides and bottom together like this. The top is detached at the moment. Just put that aside for the moment. Now position the bottom where you want it to go, giving a little bit on the, the edge here. Flip it over and start sewing. Like this. See how it's like that? I used white to give it a bit of a contrast to the colors so they stand out a bit more. And now you do the sides. It will look like this when you're done with the sides on the bottom. And now, the little bit harder, you sew this part onto the other half. 
pretty much the same way that you did this one. It's a little bit harder though. So, good luck with that. Here's what the bottom part looks like sewed on. Not cooperating. Come on. Cream just gushing out. At this point, you might want to put the purse inside out so it makes it a little bit easier to sew the sides on. And there you have most of the purse done. Look at that yummy cream. Mmm, I just want to eat it. Now, turn it inside out. And this is for time to put on the top part. But of course, now we need to put, um, to cut it in half to put the zipper on. It looks like I might have made the top part a little bit small. So I'm going to have to add a little bit to the, each side of it. By the way, do not cut the in all the way in half. Just cut it like do it like this and then slit it. Now, here I have it with the extra amount on both sides just to make sure it's big enough, not too small. Now, for this project, I'm making a small version, so I'm using a smaller zipper, but for the big version, you should use a 10-inch zipper. If you can't find any one, if, if it's too big, like 12 or 18, there is a way to make it so you can make the zipper smaller. Now, if you can see this, since I used white thread, you might not be able to see it. But I just sewed right here multiple times. And then you just cut it just a little bit over like that. There. And now you have your smaller zipper. Now, I don't really know if there's a special way to sew on a zipper, but this is how I do it. I just sew along like here and flip it over and there. Pretty good. Now see I sewed this on like that and then I'm going to sew sides on. See how I am sewing it on like this, making sure that the bad side is inside, not on the outside. Like, And we got the zipper in the bottom and the top. Now for the purse strap. Now a smart person would use purse loops to put outside and, you know, put the ribbon around it, but um, I don't have any of those, so I'm just going to sew with the ribbon on the outside. Like so, I used a one and a half inch ribbon for the strap. Now, when I sewed the ribbon, the, the strap on the first time, it kind of was weak. So I actually had to sew it on a bunch more times. So make sure when you put the strap on to sew it on multiple times and get it really good so it does not come off. Or just use purse loops because really that would be better. And we are almost done. We have the strap on. Now all that's really needed is decorations. Like this pretty bow. Just put it right here. Like that. So this one says witch's biscuits on it, which you could use fabric paint with or could be really fancy and border it on. I'm not that skilled. Or of course I know some people will probably not want to put the word witch on their purse. So you can put anything on it that you want. Or you could just leave it blank because it's still pretty cute. And so I written on the purse with this puff paint or fabric paint if you prefer the name. And as I said, you don't have to put witch's biscuits on it. You can put anything you'd like. 
and voila, the purse is done. Now, this is my first do-it-yourself craft, so um, it's probably not perfect, as you most likely know. But I had to try, didn't I? Yeah, anyway, next week will be another Killian Says.